So yeah, I'm Paul Seal, and I'm a Braco developer, and I uh, work for Mori Armour. And I am on Twitter as Co-Chair Paul. I'm supporting my brand, Co-Chair. So uh, this talk, as I was at the beginning of the slide, is boosting your career by creating a personal brand. And it's something that I'm quite passionate about. It's something I've been working on myself uh, for the last three years. And at the end, there's a book that I recommend for you if you're interested in doing that after this talk. So the agenda today then is to talk about what is a personal brand, why does it matter, examples of good personal brands, and ways to create and improve yours. So what is a personal brand? So it's your professional rep reputation, so it's how you are seen professionally, it's what you're known for, and you only get known by putting yourself out there to be known. It's people's perception of you, uh, what you're like as a professional um, and with the skills that you've got. And it's what differentiates you from others. So we've got lots of developers here. Um, I'm sure not everyone works on their personal brand. And it's a core set of values for me personally. I, I like to think that I can do things technically. I get things uh, through to the finish and um, that I'm approachable and that I share things. So I'll, I try to aim to do that, so I act as if that's what I want to be, and uh, so hopefully that's the perception that I put out there to others, and that's the brand I'm going for. And it's also your online presence, and the biggest way for the online presence I see is for having your own blog. And in doing all of this, you're basically marketing yourself as, uh, as kind of sales, um, and you're not necessarily marketing yourself because you want to get a new job, because you shouldn't always have to do it just because you want to move. So our people, um, they'll just do their CV at the last minute before they apply for a job. What if you didn't need the CV? What if you already had a portfolio out there uh, because you're doing a good job of your personal brand? So why is it important? As I said, it can help you with promotion within the company that you're working for. If you're, if you're just getting on with doing your work and you don't really um, make a noise, you, you're just producing the code, well, that's good. People might not necessarily know what you're about, how good you are, and what else you can do. And with the promotion can come pay rises. You might even want to get a new job, maybe your ideal job, maybe working with Umbraco for a gold partner. Um, it will raise the profile of your company as well. If you're working on your personal brand and you're out there and you're saying you work for this company, then that helps the company that you work for as well, which again can link back to promotions and pay rises. And also it will help within the community. So if you are uh, putting yourself out there, you have got an online presence and you turn up to things like this uh, talk, you know, this uh, conference today on local meetups, then you're becoming part of a community or because you decided you were going to focus on your personal brand. And one of the biggest things for me is uh, ensuring against redundancy. So perhaps you didn't see this coming. You were really happy in your job. You, you, you weren't working on your personal brand but you were just getting on with it, you were a good developer, but no one else knows you, only the company you work for, and unfortunately you're going to get made redundant, and you don't see that coming ahead. So I've got a quote here from Dan Shaw about, your personal brand serves as your best protection against business factors you can't control. Here's an example from Twitter. Um, Kevin, I can't say his last name, Kevin Jozewski, he, he made Archetype and a lot of other things. He was trying to work out how he can convince his client, his potential client, um, to go with Umbraco. He's like, what differentiates it from the likes of WordPress and things like that? And we were trying to come up with all sorts of ideas for him. And then he was saying things like, well, but WordPress is free as well. And they're already on WordPress. Themes are a developer concern, and they're not bothered about the community because they're not going to take part. They just wanted a website doing. And I realized that this is actually part of his personal brand, and it comes down to I said, if it was me, I wouldn't switch, and I don't think uh, you would be able to convince them anyway. I said, but the only other factor is in this is you. How much do they want you to build it for them? What unique points do you have? And then if they want you to build it, then they will need to switch to Umbraco. And to reiterate this, personal branding is all about your unique promise of value and what you bring to the table. It's also about getting your potential clients to choose you as the only solution to their problem. 
So I thought I'd try and find some good examples of personal brands. Does anybody know who this is? Yeah, this is uh, Troy Hunt. And do we know what he's known for? He's known for, he's a security expert. And he's also a blogger. And he's a plural site author and a public speaker. And he's, he's done all sorts. He's, he's done the websites, haveibeenpwned.com. If you've not checked that out, you probably should because you might have been pwned. And uh, his blog, troyhunt.com. It's worth following him. Then we've got this lady. Does anybody know who she is? This is Julie Lerman. She is um, most known for her work she's done on Entity Framework, and she's a database expert. She's also a blogger, so blogging keeps coming up. Uh, she's a plural site author and a speaker, and her website is thedatafarm.com. Personal branding is about building an authority that gets people to pay attention to your message and make them want to share it, then want to share it and recommend it to others. So, some examples from the Umbraco community of good personal brands. Do we know who this is? So, this is Ismail. He's known for being an examine guru, although when I told him that he's in the slide, he said, no, I want to be known for being an elastic search guru. But that's up to him to change that perception. So, he needs to work on that. He also is a blogger. He's a senior developer and a trainer at the Cogworks. And that's his uh, website address, and unfortunately it's a WordPress website. Do we know who this guy is? This is Alex, Alex Skripnik. He is an Al and Bracco legend. He's got over 17,200 karma points. I think that's the most on Al and Bracco. If you go to try and answer a question, he's probably already answered it for you. Um, he's a developer at umakers.dk. So he's helping, again, umakers.dk their brand is bringing their brand up because he's working on his personal brand in a way of working on answering um, our Umbraco posts and being a member of the Umbraco community. He is the John Skeet of Umbraco. Uh, Chuck Norris has got a poster of him on his wall. So would you want to work with any of these people or even hire them? You probably would because of the perception that you've got of them that these are good developers. Are they the only talented people in the industry, though? What about yourself? You know, have you got yourself known like that? What is the difference between them and you, apart from the fact that they um, they might have more skills, but we can all always upskill, but they just might be doing a better job of personal branding. Sorry if you're already doing a good job, by the way. So ways to create and improve your personal brand. Now, the number one for me is blogging. Uh, it's something that I'm passionate about. I, I like to, if I learn something, maybe I'm only one step ahead of someone else. I'm not necessarily the expert, but I'm learning something and I want to share that with others. Um, so it can have the biggest impact. This is, it's good if you, as long as you keep your website running, but this is going to be running for a long time. This People will be Googling it. Over time, Google will um, be indexing your uh, results and you'll be showing up near the top. It is your online portfolio. Why not um, create posts and maybe uh, tools and things like that that shows what demonstrates what you can do? Remembering you're working towards demonstrating your personal brand online, and as I say, it's, I think the best one is blogging. It is the best way to market yourself. And like I say, you could share your knowledge and experience. It doesn't have to be a technical blog. You could uh, share your experience of going to conferences and things like this, or share your experience of learning about new technology, or even um, new communities and things like that. Why not use Umbraco for doing your uh, blog? Some people might not actually be a developer, might be a front-end, um, well, they are developers, but might be a designer or something like that, and they're still involved in the Umbraco community. So how about using Umbraco Cloud to host your blog? Well, then you might be thinking, well, I've got to build a blog. I've got to do the template and all that. I'm not, I'm not confident with that. I'll just go to WordPress. Well, there's, n there's no excuses. You can still stay with Umbraco. And uh, I did that. That's why I did it as well, was for the dog food in style. So there's a saying about you should eat your own dog food. You should, If you're building websites for people with Umbraco, you should be using Umbraco for your own stuff as well. And uh, so there's no excuses, especially when there's something out there like Uskin, where they make top quality premium templates. There is a price for it, but just think how long it might take you to build it yourself. And you can customize the themes um, yourself. So these are top quality uh, themes. And 
for this talk, I, I approached uh, the guys from Uskind and I asked them, is there anything that you might be able to offer for the audience? And uh, they've come up with a special discount code. If anybody is inspired and they do want to start their own blog, then there's a special discount code for this talk, and it's valid until December the 1st, and you can uh, get any theme. You can get 25% off if you use the um, code CodeShare25. LinkedIn is a good way for promoting your personal brand. This is your online CV. Uh, you should always keep this up to date, and also if you do have an offline CV, make sure that the, the dates um, of all these jobs and everything match up, because if anyone does compare that, it'll look a bit strange if they don't match. You can connect with your peers around the world. One of the exercises I did was just to, if someone's a developer or a recruiter or a designer, I was just connecting with people. I think I've got over three or 4,000 connections now. I, I wasn't looking for a job at the time, but I was connecting because you never know when you might need it. Thinking back to that idea about, you don't know if you're gonna get made redundant or when you're ready to start the challenge for your next job. You can share your blog posts on there. There's a LinkedIn Pulse where you can actually put your blog posts on there and then use a canonical link that will refer back to your blog. So you'll get the power of LinkedIn, but you'll also get the SEO juice because it'll be going back to your website. And one of the best things about LinkedIn is the LinkedIn group. So there are groups and communities out there where they've got like hundreds of thousands of members. I think the .NET group's got like 300,000 members. If you're sharing your thoughts and experiences from your posts within these groups, uh, you're going to get a lot of exposure to people that you may potentially work with soon. Twitter is another good one. You can tweet relevant articles. Join in with the community, especially on the hashtag Umbraco and UKFest. And you can follow influential people on Twitter. Comment on other people's blog posts. So that's another good way of uh, getting your personal brand out there, is to comment on other influential people on what they're sharing, and that will get other people seeing that, and then we'll look back to, oh, what does this guy do or girl? GitHub's a great one. So you, uh, you can contribute to open source projects. People will see your commits, but also you can create your own projects, and you can build your own portfolio of work. If you do decide to start looking for a job, then you've got a portfolio already on your public GitHub profile. And also, why not try and get your contributor status on at our Umbraco? Uh, even just um, contributing to the docs is a good way to get that contributor status and also give you the book for trying to contribute. Forums, as I already mentioned, our Umbraco forum. Um, there's Stack Overflow as well. So, I mean, Alex did a great job of it. Um, putting his personal brand out there because he's always just on the Al and Bracco forum. I don't know how he gets any work done. And he's answering lots of questions, helping loads of people. And we know who he is just because of that forum. He didn't. I don't think he's even got a blog. Uh, Stack Overflow, um, that one's not as friendly, but there's, there is still uh, a community on there that you can um, help and be helped by. It's not just for Googling your problem and getting the answers. You can actually put answers on there yourself. And then also, if you do decide to create a blog, um, there is the Aaron Bracco community blog post feed. So there's a community section on Aaron Bracco where you can um, share your blog posts and it will automatically be pulled in. So you get all these, I think there's hundreds of thousands of members on Aaron Bracco. If you want to share that message with those people, it will automatically be pulled in. Other blogging platforms, you've got Medium, Dot com. You can write your posts on there. You don't even have to create a blog yourself. You can just blog from Medium. Or um, you can do the same on Dev.2. And both of these also have a way of linking back to your personal blog if you do duplicate your posts and want to keep the SEO juice. You can share things on Reddit and Hacker News as well. If you manage to get a post that goes viral on Hacker News, that will really do wonders uh, for your personal brand and message. And you can attend meetups and conferences like today. So while you're at the conference, don't just go to the talks. Do some networking. Talk to people. Find out what they're into, and they'll ask what you're into. What, are you, what do you do? Where do you work? Volunteer for speaking at your local meetups and perhaps um, even at conferences like today, even if you're not comfortable in doing so. And uh, if you do create a personal brand, maybe you've got a blog, create some stickers. That's a good way of getting the message out there uh, and getting your brand known. That's why I'm wearing my T-shirt today. And also, I've got some stickers if anybody wants to get any co-chair stickers. 
videos and podcasts. You could create yourself a YouTube channel. You could just you don't necessarily have to be to, uh, tutorials all the time. You could just be talking about your experiences as well if you want to. Uh, you could do a Twitch channel, maybe do some live coding or live design. You could get your podcasts on iTunes. It's really easy these days to create a podcast and get it onto iTunes and Stitcher and things like that. And you can make guest appearances on other people's videos and podcasts as well. Again, it's all about getting your personal brand out there. Not, not forgetting, though, while you're doing this, um, you, could, you could have a good personal brand, but also you still need to make sure that you do have some skills to back it up. So you can work on your skills, maybe go on Pluralsight and things like that to keep yourself sharp. So as I said, I was going to recommend a couple of books to you. Um, this one I blame for three years ago I read this one. And this is what started me on the journey for creating a personal brand. And I've done a short link on my website, coachair.co.uk slash soft hyphen skills. Um, if you read that book or listen to the audible version of it, that's what I did. Um, I, I think you probably will be inspired to create, at least create your own blog. And then the same guy, John Sonmez, he wrote another book. And this year I listened to this one as well. And I blame this one as the reason why I decided to change jobs. And this one, I wanted to take my job to the next level. So again, I blame John for that one. And I thank him as well. So any questions? Yeah, so um, what I tend to do is, yeah. Uh, sorry, so the question was, how much time do I allocate to uh, building my personal brand? And I basically use my dinner hour to, uh, to do that. So, and, and then on my phone, I'll comment on things and share things like that. But yeah, usually I, I build things up um, on my dinner hour get the ideas and not necessarily doing um, a post every day or a video every day but I'll be working towards trying to do something once a week at least. Any more? Hey, uh, I was just wondering, so a lot of the things you talk about is reach and platforms and, and uh, quantity. What's your thought around what you post, why you post things, what, what you're trying to give back What's the, what's the thoughts around, I should post something, I should share this stuff, or I should not share this? Uh, um, me, per me personally, I like to share things that if I learn something and I have a colleague, oh, I, I just want to tell you about this thing that I learned yesterday. Um, maybe you could benefit from it, maybe not. But um, So I try and just do it as if I'm just talking to a colleague. So if I'm doing a video or a blog post, uh, if I can help someone else and also... If I can help myself six months down the line when I've completely forgotten how to do that thing, I know I've written it in a way that I understand, so I can go back on my site and find that thing. Oh yeah, I can, I can do that. That's what I would say. Is just um, get your, get those posts and videos and things out there that will help someone hopefully in the future. If not, help yourself in six months. Yeah, as someone who's made very little effort a personal brand <laughs> um thing i'm always wondering is how to make sure that my efforts will be coherent so uh, how to sort of focus them so that there is a clear message do you have any thoughts on that um what i do is i do like an outline um i do bullet points and then i'll break those into smaller bullet points and then i'll work on that and i'll revise it um i'll do it. maybe the bullet points on the first day the next day i'll add some meat to those bullet points, and then the third day I'll probably um, edit that and make sure that it's polished and ready to go. And also you can ask your colleagues and friends to give it a read for you as well. Okay, I think that's it then. Thank you very much. Cheers.